stretch the obliques. I'm just going to stack my feet in the center of a ball. Stack my hips. Come down onto my side. So it can be a lateral line, stretching the lower side. You can roll back and forth here. Get a little movement. For more stretch, you can bring yourself up on this elbow. Run the scapula back and down. I'm gonna get a little twist in this lower hip through the obliques. Inhale, exhale, turn. Inhale, exhale, turn. Inhale, exhale, turn. I'm gonna inhale up, exhale, turn and look down. Inhale up, exhale, turn and look. Inhale up, exhale, turn and look. I'm gonna do the other side now and I'm just going to let you see what it looks like from the back. So I'm gonna start out stacking my feet on top of the ball. Just come down. This is getting the bottom side here. I can bring this up. Get a little movement. And I'm gonna raise up onto this elbow. I'm creating space in the obliques. My shoulder and my elbow are in alignment. My scapula is depressed and I'm going to get a little movement here. It's all through this bottom lateral line. Inhale, and exhale, I'm going to turn. Inhale, exhale, turn. And then I'm going to inhale, exhale, turn. into the ball and I'm going to keep a bend in the knee. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to hold on to the ball. Exhale. I'm going to straighten the leg. I'm going to lengthen my spine from my tailbone to the crown of my head. And I can pump my foot a little bit. Get a little neuromuscular action going in there. Neural flossing. I'm going to bend and inhale. I'm gonna straighten, and this time I'm gonna get a little bit more into the hamstring, okay? So I'm creating length into my back. Inhale, I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna start looking down. This leg has got to be straight to get the hamstring. I'm bringing my chest towards my thigh. I'm bringing my chin in, and I'm looking back towards my knee, maybe towards my navel. Locking that knee out. Release. I'm gonna switch feet. Bring that foot in. I have a bend. I'm gonna inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna straighten. Get into that calf stretch. I have the whole ball of my foot on the ball. Big toe to pinky toe. And I'm gonna start pumping that foot. Feeling that stretch, lengthening my spine. And I'm gonna bend, I'm gonna inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna straighten, lock out that hamstring. I'm gonna start bringing my chest down. I'm gonna look back. Relaxing my body. And release. For a quad stretch and hip flexor, I'm going to start out in a runner's lunge. So my foot needs to be straight back, my leg straight back behind me. 
Getting some movement here on the ball. I'm going to engage my transverse abdominals and I'm going to push myself up. Hold on to something if you need balance. Pushing myself up, pushing my hips forward and down. I'm going to turn, come back, I'm going to open. And I'm going to inhale up. I'm going to twist a little bit right, a little bit open. I'm going to bring it back down. And then do some twisting here. And now just to get another angle, I'm going to bring it up on my thigh. I'm going to lay my body in, twist. I'm going to come up. I have the ball right above my knee. I'm just going to roll, pushing, get a little movement. Using that ball. It's a great hip opener. I can arch back to get a little bit more. Release. I'm just going to go right into a uh, inner thigh. Since the ball's there, I'm going to start on the longer fibers. My core is engaged, my scapular depressed. The core engagement just helps protect your lower spine, pulls that pelvic floor up. I'm going to take a bend in my knee, taking it out. Do some circular movement. You do what your body needs here. I'm gonna reverse, circling my hips. Now I'm just gonna go a little bit forward and backward with my body. And I'm gonna get one more with the leg extended, my foot all the way out on that ball, and I'm just taking it out. Remember, pain-free, just give yourself a stretch. Some days you'll be more flexible than others. And release. Now I'm going to drop to that knee, and I'm going to take it into a quad stretch. I'm just going to bring it up right here. Catch your balance. Bring that in a little closer for me. So I'm going to inhale. And exhale, I'm going to push forward. Quad stretch is right here. I'm pretty flexible, so I'm going to go ahead and lean back and look back. And maybe yours is just up here looking like this. Whatever you need to stretch your quad. take it to this other side. Start out in the runner's lunge. I'm going to push myself up, hold on to something if you need more balance. down, pushing forward, I'm going to turn my body, other way, I'm going to bring it up, little turn, little turn, bring that ball in, I'm going to do a couple more twists here, this side is tighter than the other, Bring it all the way up. So nice balance. I'm just gonna roll back and forth. I have the ball above my knee, right. Um, it's getting pretty close to my groin. I feel very stable. I'm gonna come up. And I'm going to 
take it into the long fiber on the inner thigh, turn it out. Take a bend and the inhale, exhale, taking it out, inhale, 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 and exhale. I'm going to do some little circles. I'm just circling my body, right, back, left, forward. I'm going to switch whatever feels good. elongated spine the whole time. I'm going to take it further out this time. You do what you need to stretch here. And I'm taking it into the quad. Stretches right here. Inhale. Exhale. Push forward, look back, arch back. Again, if this is your stretch, it's perfect. If you're holding onto a chair, we all start somewhere. This is the stretch, right here, whatever you need. For me, I need more arch. I need bigger stretch. Not take a break at any time. And then do one more. And release. All right, let's take it into that front line. I'm just going to start opening this front line. Just rocking it out. I can create a pillow back here to support my neck. If this is enough stretch for you, keep it here. Whatever you need to stretch, stay within your comfort zone. Find the resistance. Breathe. Just keep rocking it out, taking it back. Maybe dropping your head, maybe opening the shoulders. I'm going to take it back. I'm going to extend my arms and I'm just going to use this ball to rock my hips. Enjoying this nice, open, functional front line stretch. Loving the ball. Oh, it just feels like I'm free and moving effortlessly. Like I'm floating. Kind of am, I guess. Inhale. And exhale. And now I'm going to come up. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to open, and I'm just going to rock back and forth on the top here. Getting some thoracic spine twist in. And let's do one more big roll out. Here, all the way, whoop, here all the way. Taking it back, dropping the head. Inhale, and exhale. All right, let's just turn it over into a, like a child's pose. Well, actually, we're not gonna go like child's pose. We're gonna take and we're gonna railroad track our, our feet, our knees, right below our hips. Feet are straight back behind us. Take the ball out in front of you. You can start out wide, and if you need, start out with one arm. We're gonna um, do our lats. So take an inhale, on the exhale, catch your ball, push your ball out, and drop it down. Drop your head down towards the floor, rolling back and forth. Chin to 
chest, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, bringing the ball in. And this time I'm gonna turn my thumbs down and I'm gonna bring my hands a little closer together. And I'm gonna inhale, exhale, I'm gonna push it out. And just start dropping my chest towards the floor. And I'm gonna roll in and out. In and out. And roll it up one vertebrae at a time. This time I'm gonna drop back onto my knees and I'm gonna take it into a rolling child's pose. So I'm gonna inhale, on the exhale I'm pushing it out, my thumbs are up. I'm gonna drop it down and I'm gonna roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Chin come up last, inhale, exhale, push it out, drop it down. I'm gonna hold at the bottom and I'm gonna take, roll my ball in a little bit, I'm gonna take thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, Thumbs down, up, down, up, down. Just getting some movement in that shoulder joint. And release, rolling it up one vertebrae at a time. I'm gonna take it into a spinal rotation. You can just bring the ball behind me. You can keep your feet here if you'd like, or you can cross one leg over the other. So I'm gonna inhale, and the exhale I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna catch the outside of my knee with right above my elbow. And I'm gonna grab hold of my ball, and I'm gonna gently twist back. And I wanna create length between the crown of my head and my tailbone. Using the ball to give us a little twist. Release, inhale. Exhale, use the ball to assist you. Release, inhale. Exhale, take it back. And release. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, extend the spine up. Catch the leg, use the ball and twist. Exhale on the twist. Release. Now for our rhomboid and the back of our shoulder, I'm gonna bring the ball um, out beside me and in front. I'm gonna come up on my knees. I'm gonna inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna bring my hand down, I'm gonna catch the ball, and I'm gonna start leaning down, dropping this shoulder. I'm gonna turn and look at the ball, and I'm just gonna do some gentle rolling. I'm gonna increase, use this hand to help guide. Turning, looking up towards the ceiling, Getting a stretch all through that back. Release, I'm gonna take it to the other side. Bring it right up here. I'm gonna inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna drop it down, catch. Taking it to the side. Pulling with that hand now, looking up, getting into the rhomboid. And release. For the glutes, I'm gonna bring one foot into the middle of the ball. I'm gonna bring my arms out to the side. I'm gonna inhale, 
I'm gonna bring this foot in, this leg up, I'm gonna cross it right above the knee, and I'm gonna start rocking back and forth. I'm gonna extend this knee outwards, creating space in this pelvic region. Maybe if I need more stretch, I'm gonna bring this up, whatever you need to get into this gluteal region. Make sure you're breathing, calms the nervous system, encourages the fascia and the muscle to stretch. I'm gonna replace this, I'm gonna inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna drop it over. I'm gonna turn and look the opposite direction. I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna push this out and away. If you need more stretch, you can bring this foot up a little closer. Pushing out. Release, and let's go ahead and open that up the other direction. Turn, look down the arm. Release, switch feet on the ball. Bring that ball in, cross, and bring this out. So this is like a pigeon, number four. You can start rolling back and forth on those glutes. Maybe cradle. Replace, pushing it out, drop it over, turn and look the opposite direction, pushing that leg open, bringing the foot up. Release, replace, open up and twist the other direction. Release, and I'm gonna go ahead and do another one while I'm here for the glutes. I'm just gonna come up, I'm gonna bring the ball behind me, I'm gonna put my foot there it comes right back to me. I'm going to put this straight back behind me, and I'm just going to come into the pigeon right here. So my foot is straight back behind me, I'm up in the pigeon, and I'm just going to roll it back and forth. Nice, gentle movement. I can come down, and just rock back and forth. Coming in and out of the stretch. I'm gonna switch legs. So I'm gonna bring this foot straight back behind me and I'm gonna bring this one. I'm gonna angle my foot over towards this opposite hip. I'm gonna bring it back. You can bring it down. I can just use the ball. Go in and out of the stretch. I can stay up here. So good for that hip capsule to move around like this. And release. I'm gonna stretch my lower back. So if you are new to stretching, this may be enough stretch for you right here, bringing your knees in maybe rolling side to side. If you need more, bring them up into happy baby. Your hands can be on the inside or the outside. Maybe you get some movement. Maybe your hands come in. And if you want more stretch, use that ball to give you some spinal traction. 
You're going to be very careful getting on this ball, very mindful of your body, your limitations. I need more, so I'm going to take it all the way up. been stretching a long time and that's just inversions are really um, easy and comfortable for me you would not be able to start out like that it's fine if you start with one leg but you can increase your flexibility your body loves to move so stick with it all right going into uh, pectorals gonna open up our chest Coming down into the prone position. Get back here so you can see me. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up at a 90. My other hand is just outside of my shoulder here. On the inhale, push up, pushing through the ball, stretching right here. I'm gonna turn and look away, and I'm gonna get some movement. And maybe yours looks like this. Whenever you need to get that shoulder stretch all the way through our pec, our shoulder. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna extend my arm out. Again, drop it through. And I'm going to um, flip my wrist up and down, turning, looking. I'm going to release and I'm going to switch to my other side. I'm going to start out with my arm bent. This hand outside. Okay, try to see you can see. There we go. So I'm gonna inhale, push up, turn and look. Get some movement on that ball. Just opening up the front of that shoulder. Oh, this one feels totally different than my other. I'm gonna extend that arm, push a little further, a little more into that pec area. Feel my pec minor is tight, and now I'm gonna add the wrist up and down, the wrist flexion, pull all the way through my shoulder. And release. I'm going to take it going into a neck stretch. So I'm just going to bring my neck down. I'm going to bring my head down by my knees. I'm going to keep my chin back towards my chest. I'm going to bring the ball in and I'm gently going to push my head against the ball and I'm going to add a little movement left and right. Push up against the ball, stretching the back of the neck, stretching the traps, turning gently and slowly, one armpit to the other. Release on the inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna turn my chin towards one side, back, looking back at the armpit, and bring the ball in, and I'm gonna get a little press against it, nice and gentle. These movements are all controlled and gentle. Release, chin to chest, I'm gonna look to the other side. I'm gonna bring it down, bring the ball in, and I'm gonna use the ball for traction, pushing against the ball. Release, I'm gonna look right, look 
look left, look right, look left. All right, let's do our forearms. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put my, my arms into external rotation by bringing my scapula down. My hands are on the ball, I'm bringing my weight into the ball, and then I'm gonna pull the ball back towards me to get that stretch, woo! Make sure your arms are in that external rotation, it makes a total difference. Come out of it, inhale. So I'm setting my scapula back, dropping, and bringing it in. Release, and I'm gonna take it to the other side. Drop the knees back, drop the scapula, inhale, exhale, I'm gonna drop my weight on it, and this time I'm gonna push the ball away. Pushing away, getting the front of that forearm. Release, inhale, exhale, drop it down, push away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get a little roll if you want. <laughs> really tight there. Wow, okay. All right, I'm just gonna shake it out. Whew. Let's just do our fingers, do our thumb. Push, index, push, middle finger, push, ring finger, push, and pinky. Push. All right. Let's take it to um, our biceps. So I'm going to bring the ball behind me. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to inhale. And I'm going to exhale. I'm going to push this out and away. See me, inhale, exhale, pushing it away. I'm gonna do my other one. So I'm gonna take start with my palm up. And my thumb down. our triceps and then we'll also um, stretch inside the shoulder internal and external rotation so I'm gonna bring my ball we'll start we'll start with this one bring my arm up take a bend turn towards the ball balls out at a diagonal catch right here and just use my other hand to push and pull the ball such a good stretch Move your body around, work that shoulder, give them a tricep into the lats, subscapularis. And now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna use this hand, and I'm gonna bring it down into internal rotation. And I'm gonna just reposition my ball. Maybe you can see this better. Bring in it and pull it down. And my shoulder just popped. This time I'm gonna assist it into that external rotation. We're manipulating that humerus in the joint and release. I'm just gonna give that a little shake, shake, shake. This time up, bend, bring the ball out, turn and catch, stretching right through the tricep. Pushing and pulling, 
any movement on that ball, getting this entire trap, subscapula, a little bit in the lat. Right, you bring the ball over. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. As soon as I feel resistance, I let go. You may have to move around a little bit to find that angle. And other right. Exhale, push it away. Roll it up. Inhale. Exhale, push it away. 